The restrictions for being in public places has been strictened quite a lot since last week in Sweden. And therefore I am working from home, but I have a really small apartment. I mean, it's tiny and it's very hard to have a dedicated area for work in this kind of micro apartment that I'm living in. But I just came up with this solution that is working so well, almost as well as when I'm in the office working. And I wanted to quickly demo for you how I set this up and how I'm working from home with this dual screen setup that almost emulates the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. I'm W2Best and I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials. So if you're interested in that, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you want to buy any of these products, I will make sure to link them in the description below. And if you have any questions about it, please make sure to ask them in the comments and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. You can also find me on Instagram at W2Best and communicate with me there if you prefer that over YouTube. Here are all the things I'm using to accomplish this setup. We have my Dell Inspiron 15 7000, we have a Roost stand, we have the Logitech K380 keyboard, we have this no name that I got off of Amazon 15.6 inch USB-C monitor and we have my Logitech MX Master 2S. Let's start off and build this setup from scratch. To begin with, we're going to use the Roost stand. If you don't know about Roost stand, it's this super compact laptop stand that I am carrying with me almost everywhere I go to be able to get a better posture when working on a laptop. The Roost stand folds out super easily like this and then I would usually keep it in the second position here. So you pull in these tabs in here and then you can lower it or higher it. And I figure the second option is the one that works the best with this setup. So right there, we got the roof stand in place. Then we're gonna use the laptop and a 15.6 inch laptop works perfect for this setup. We're placing the laptop in the roof stand and then we have a solid base setup here. To make sure I don't run out of power, I usually stay plugged in when I'm working from home. So I'm plugging the barrel connector, which is giving ample power to drive the laptop with this setup. Then I would always use the keyboard, which is the Logitech K380. Just place it in front of the roof stand like this and also the USB mouse, the MX Master 2S. Placing that right there and we got my normal base setup for remote work. What is different now though is that I just recently, about a month ago, bought this extra display. This is a 15.6 inch display and normally I've been placing that to the side of the laptop and had this one placed on the table. I realized now though, when I was using this a bit more to work from home, that when I was filling up the whole table with that setup, I had to take everything down to be able to use the table for anything else except work. So when I wanted to have lunch, I needed to rig off the whole setup and then set it up again after lunch. And instead, putting it up on the roof stand and then just placing the monitor on like this makes it a perfect double screen setup without consuming all the space of the table. So I can even move it a bit to the side here and have plenty of space for doing something else on the table. This monitor plugs in with one USB-C cable, plugging the USB cable on the laptop and then in the USB connection on the right side of the monitor for both power and display. Logging into the laptop, you can see that uh, this monitor holds my Trello board with planning YouTube and then here I can just have a look at the stats for the channel or uh, edit the video for example. When starting the bottom monitor, it's usually not as bright as I want it to do. I haven't figured out how this one will be as bright as I want it to every time I start it up. So I have to go into the settings and turn the brightness up from 30 to somewhere between 50 and 60. And then make sure the contrast is not above 50. 
With these settings I find that the light and color are pretty similar between the two monitors. These are both matte monitors, they are both 15.6 inch and it really gives a good two screen setup with such a compact form factor. And to be honest, this is pretty similar to running an Asus ZenBook Pro Duo, although the Pro Duo only has the top part as screen and then the keyboard in the bottom side. And since the Dell Inspiron 15 7000 is about 1.7 kilos and this screen is about 750 grams, this whole thing weighs in at about two and a half kilos. In case you are wondering, this setup is really hard to make work properly on a 14 inch laptop. Here it is with my Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 and as you can see, the screens kind of overlap each other in a way that is not really useful. So you kind of need a 15 inch laptop for this kind of setup to work with a 15 inch monitor. I feel a little bit more excited to work from home now that I got a proper two screen setup that doesn't take up all the space of my apartment and the only table area that I have in this tiny apartment. So what have you done to be able to work from home if you're doing it right now? Have you got any great tips and tricks for products or solutions that you can use to get a feasible work from home setup? I think I can deal with this now and not be in the need for my three screen setup that I usually work with at the office. The only thing I am a little bit conscious about now is that I sit in a kitchen chair and it would be nice to have something a little bit more ergonomic. But this is a work in progress and I will keep optimizing this setup. I was doing the second day from home today and this is the day when I found out about this solution. So I wanted to jump on quickly and share this with you guys so that you can get an as productive time as possible now when I assume we will be spending quite a bit of time working from home and not from office spaces. I am W2Best and I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials and I will see you in the next video. Have a really nice day. Bye bye.